Look at here, folks. This is a small hive beetle trap. Uh, bait trap, we'll say. And now, of course, the sun comes out right as I start to try to film something, but I think y'all can see them on there. Look at all the small hive beetle larvae trying to crawl up the wheelbarrow, and they can't. They can't climb up the metal. They'll start getting up it a little bit, and then they fall back. They just can't climb up those metal sides. This is actually done by accident, but, uh, you know, gets me thinking. This ain't a bad idea. I had all this old honeycomb. Of course, here's all that's left now. It's just a little pile of stuff that's uh, the smaller stuff. But, uh, you know, I had a bunch from a cutout job, and I'd put it back in the woods. I put it, I put it in this screen bottom box so the bees can get to both sides of it and rob it out real good. Uh, and then a couple days later, I went back there and I got it and just dumped it in the wheelbarrow just to bring it up to the house and it's going to melt it down. And I've mentioned that in another video. I had called robbing in the yard, which isn't good, but, um, oh yeah, there you go. There's good footage. Use that for the cover photo. Anyway, so I just dumped the wheelbarrow and then, of course, forgot about it for another couple days. And the, uh, adult beetles are drawn to it. They're drawn to the smell. So they came and laid it up full of eggs and the egg hatched out promptly. And uh, now we got a bunch of maggots that can't get out of this wheelbarrow, and they will essentially just sit here and roast as far as I'm concerned. Um, or maybe some wild birds will come in and get them, I don't know. I don't think I can fit my wheelbarrow into the chicken coop or I would. I just think it'll fit through the door. Um, but what I am doing is I'm scooping up handfuls of them here, what I can, what I can grab anyway. Because this pile of uh, wax bits here is just full of them all crawling around. So I'm throwing all this in a bucket, and I'm going to go dump that in the chicken coop and let the chickens eat them. But all these ones that I can't, you know, real quick and easy pick up out of the wheelbarrow, I'm just going to leave them in here and let them become a product of nature. They'll just get roasted so they can't get out. That sounds awful, but you know what? <laughs> these are awful, awful little critters. I hate them. They're so nasty. And they do so much damage. I lose so many colonies to beetles. It's not even funny. So I don't feel bad about letting a few of them burn in the sun. It's their own fault. That's the adult's fault for poor planning on where they laid their eggs. Anyway, yeah, just thought I'd show it to you. So y'all might give it a shot. Maybe make up something like, I don't know, a, just a metal bucket if you got one. You got a little bit of extra comb. You get a high of the dead out or even just cut out a chunk of drone comb, whatever. Just let it sit out. The beetles will find it, no problem. I would recommend you put it somewhere away from your bee yard a little bit so the beetles are drawn away from your yard, ideally, and drawn to that, uh, that easy target of comb. And, uh, you know, let them go lay their eggs elsewhere. And as long as these larvae can't get out of the metal bucket it breaks their life cycle just like that so you end up with a bucket full of dead larvae so, i don't know give it a thought give it uh give it a shot